Hey ladies, this is Erica Johnston. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about different ways that you can transition to silver hair and maybe make it a little bit easier on yourself. So when I started thinking about transitioning to silver hair, I, in my mind, I thought that I would just be growing it out and letting the silver, you know, start to grow down. There'd be that strong demarcation line. I didn't really think of any other options and um, truly on the streets that's sort of what I saw right is women growing their hair, hair out and just seeing like a solid line whether that's you know silver to blonde or silver to brunette or red or whatever so um, I started doing a little bit of research and finding that there are multiple ways to go through the transition um, are any of them easy not necessarily um, some are definitely quicker than others um, but I'm going to fill you in on the different ways. We're going to go from like most extreme to probably, um, easiest transition, I suppose. Easiest. Anyway. Right, so number one is, um, shaving your head, literally shaving your head. So shaving your head, uh, is definitely one way of getting through the transition but you still have to grow the hair out at that point right so depending on on what length you like if you like long hair then that's still going to be a long transition right so it just i mean depends on what you want to do you want to just get rid of all of the color and and grow it out then that's that's up to you totally but i mean i guess it is an option and uh it's one that you really should should think through <laughs> before doing um yeah, so that's one way of doing it. All right, so number two is a pixie cut. And it's funny, I've a few of you have told me, oh, you should cut your hair. And uh, I think one woman said something about getting um, a cut like Mia Farrow in Rosemary's Baby. And it's so funny because I have never seen that movie before. So I had to Google. I know who Mia Farrow is, but I didn't know what she looked like in that movie. So her haircut was very short with short bangs and this and that but she's only in her 20s in that film so I actually was really flattered I thank you <laughs> for saying that um but that sort of short like a pixie cut for me is not my personality right like I know my hair is pulled back right now um with my little baby ponytail um but yeah just for me I I don't feel like right now anyways that I could um, rock a pixie cut I just feel like um, my personality is more uh, suited right now at this stage of my life to shoulder length and long and actually eventually I do want to get my long hair back so but thank you that's really really sweet um, but a lot of you have found that that has worked really well and um, I guess if you already you know had a short haircut it's pretty easy right just chop keep chopping it off and your hair is going to be growing out a lot quicker and um, just another way to to transition to silver hairs. All right, so, whoops, <laughs> what number is this? Uh, okay, so number three is going cold turkey. And this is essentially where you just don't do anything. You stop completely dyeing your hair um, and you just let it grow out. And that could be any length, whatever it is. Um, and maybe you have long hair and you just keep on growing it and you, you know, I know one woman on um, Instagram and I'll, I'll put her the link to her name. Um, she's, she's been growing it out and she's got very, very long hair. And so I guess her hair, she was dyeing it black and now her hair is literally white. So she's got a solid demarcation line, but it's really neat seeing her Instagram pictures because um, you can tell that she's just like she owns that two-tone color that white and that black color it's really cool and she styles it in different ways and stuff so um, that might be a way for you it might work for you and you just decide like to completely give up all um, processing and all coloring and stuff and you just go for it so yeah that's uh that's a third way of doing it number four is the highlight slash low light process um so this is kind of up in the air because 
I, I know I've, I've read blogs, I've read different people's reviews on highlighting when you're uh, growing out the silver and a lot of people say, oh, you know, that didn't work for me. And one of those reasons is because those highlights, um, they end up turning kind of a brassy sort of color and, you know, one of our, our one of the lingo that we've been using here on, on YouTube is blorange, right? So it's like that blonde orange color. Um, which I just cut out. <laughs> I don't know, was it last week? I can't remember when I did it, but I just took my scissors and just chopped all of that out of my hair. So now I'm left with like some really short stuff on top and a little bit longer hair, but I don't really care. Um, but yeah, like the thing is, is with highlights, you know that you're, you're going to end up with that kind of brassy unless you continue to get that, those ends toned. So that's up to you, right? Um, I talked to you a little bit about toner before in one of my videos. So the toner has yellowed my hair, right? So I, I'm kind of set back a little, a little bit here. Myself, the toner, if they, if they get any of it on your natural silver hair, it's not going to come out, and so then you're, you're left with growing that out again, right? So you have to be, you have, just have to get to a point where you let that blorange uh, grow out, I suppose. So, anyways, if you want to do highlights uh, and lowlights. Um, I tr this is what I did and I really found it easier for myself to get rid of that for the demarcation line if that's just not your your thing. So I just did highlights and they were random. They were not even, you know, like he didn't match. Oh, you know, there she's got silver because I have quite quite a bit. He just kind of put them put them in and it was fine for me. Um, another way that you can do it is uh, with low lights. And so you'll want to match, like for myself, I've got the dark hair back here. So you kind of want to match that uh, natural, whatever you are, maybe you're, maybe you have a certain shade of blonde. You'll want to match that as your low light. And um, that just kind of breaks it up a little bit, but it actually keeps, that's your natural color, right? So um, that might be another way of doing it. Uh, there's also a mixture of the two, highlights and lowlights. I've also seen um, a woman who got her hair um, matched exactly. It was like, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine how long that would have taken. But they they did the highlights and then toned those highlights silver and then did uh, the lowlights matching her color. And they really did a strand for strand kind of um, thing. So that, that works depending on how much silver you, ha you have as well. Number five. Um, the, you might want to try to do a strand or a, a strand, like that would be really weird, <laughs> like one strand of hair, um, but like a few strands, I guess, um, of silver first, right? So maybe like for myself, this is my, I'm just solid silver in this area right here. Just having like a little bit of the silver coming through, maybe on either side or a few, let that grow up first and then afterwards you can start to like maybe just grow out a little bit more and it, it will blend easier um that's an option as well so i just I, I i was told to do that like people not told but i people said to me you should try to to maybe put a few strands out first and see how you like it me i'm like go big or go home you know with everything so if i do something i do it like full out that's just how i am so for me that that worked just to kind of go for it when i decided so yeah all right so number six is uh this is very interesting actually and i wish that i could find the youtube video or the the blog where i read this um i must have read this two years ago but i remember seeing this woman d dying hair parts at a time like she would do she'd grow out the white here right and then part it over on this side and then and then vice versa. So that kind of worked as well. So she was still like coloring some of it and growing out some or doing anyways. I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense, but she's basically growing out parts and then highlight coloring other parts and then whatever. So sorry, that was really confusing. Number seven. Uh, this is um, something that I literally just found out about. I've never heard of it and I'm actually really embarrassed because um, apparently I've been living under a rock. To be talking about Olaplex, and unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, I guess it's supposed to strengthen your hair, 
um, when you're when you're bleaching it. So if you want to learn more about that, I've actually posted a video uh, down below to learn about this this Olaplex, Olaplex method of lightening your hair just to, to keep the strength in it so it doesn't all break off and fall off, okay? Finally, number eight um, is gray toner. So this is an option uh, which I did and I don't necessarily recommend it. I think that every the toner fades, right? So um, everybody said to me, well, why don't you just dye your hair gray or silver? And then it's done and you don't have to grow, but that's not how it works, right? The toner just fades out and ends up being this like, what you saw before, that, that blorange color. So I did it, um, I got my highlights put in and then I got the silver toner. It wasn't even silver, it was like this gray color and I didn't like it. Some people said, oh, that looks really cool. I just didn't like it anyway. So it's up to you if you wanna try that route. Um, just know that it will fade out and you will have to have it retoned um, a few times. So yeah, so that's an option. So there you have it. Those are just a few ways that you can make your transition to silver hair a little bit easier on yourself. Um, do what works for you. Everybody's different. Um, just know that uh, I'm here for you. So if you have any questions, you can always send me a message in the comment section below. I love hearing from you. Um, it's it's a highlight of my day to get messages from, from each and every one of you. So thank you. <laughs> uh, I hope to see you again. Um, I will have fitness videos coming. I, I know I promised some of you that I'd be doing that. Um, we were camping all last week um, in Midland again. We had an amazing time. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get those prepared for you very, very shortly. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So I'm really excited. I can't believe that. I never expected that. So thank you so much um, and share this with your friends. All right, so until next Tuesday, have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. So, you know, having that kind of um, what am I trying to say right now? You know what I'm trying to say, right? So this is the Olaplex, uh, Olaplex. Um, and then finally number <laughs> eight, how would you want to show eight? Eight? <laughs> finally, number eight, um, or eight, eight. I can't, how come I can't do that? Finally, number eight, finally, number eight. Okay, so do I want to see anything else? I don't know.